Hey guys, Diptesh here back with another video. So the Dell G5 Special Edition's uh, high temperature problem is well documented. Many people are complaining about it. And apart from that, there are also some other issues that are being cropping up uh, in the new Dell G5 models. Uh, so it seems like whenever you search for a Dell G5 review, uh, you won't find any complaints from the reviewers. So it seems like the Dell G5 Special Edition review units that were sent to the reviewers had proper stable uh, drivers and all but seems like the customer units they don't have the stable drivers yet which is a very uh, shocking thing by, by dell is it because of quality control i don't know but the customers are complaining a lot about uh, crashes in games in certain games which is uh, we don't know the reason for it whether it is excessive uh, power delivery to the gpu or whatnot but seems like the drivers in the dell g5's customer variants the p1 for the customers that are on sale does not have the most stable drivers so that's a thing of worry now guys we're not sure exactly who is getting affected with this game crashes it seems to differ by regions to regions for example in some regions there is no crashes reported whereas in some regions people are reporting a lot of black screen errors and crashes and for example this new channel which has come called benchmark lab has benchmarked the dell has benchmarked the Dell G5 Special Edition in many games and he has reported no crashes. You can check this video. Uh, you can see the insane benchmark numbers. So there seems to be a lot of inconsistencies. And uh, I've come across uh, this uh, Reddit thread uh, thanks to one of the subscribers who gave me a link. And uh, this thread seems to have fixed the temperature issues of the Dell G5. In fact, they brought the temperatures down from over 100 degrees centigrade to well below 80 degrees centigrade which is uh, fantastic uh, and also Dell seems to have uh, updated the BIOS they have issued a major urgent BIOS update uh, version 1.3.0 I don't know if you guys have the BIOS update uh, so it seems like updates are the key to the stability of this machine and I hope Dell uh, brings out firmware updates as soon as possible now guys we don't know yet whether it is a firmware bug actually or is it Dell's extremely overly aggressive power delivery curve we don't know what it is but it seems like the dell g5 special edition is pushing over 100 watts of power to the uh, cpu so the ryzen 5 4600h and the ryzen 7 4800h these are 45 watt tdp rated parts and with a cddp of 54 watts so it can boost up to 54 watts and all but is it a firmware bug or whether it is dell who is pushing the cpu way too much in fact the cpu is getting over 80 to 107 watts as mentioned in this thread which is way over the configurable tdp of the cpu so that is what that is causing the extremely 100 plus degree temperatures in stress test and all so at so a cpu part which is rated at 54 watt at maximum is being fed power over 80 to 107 watts that is quite insane so dell has to fix this issue very quickly and uh, the workaround that he has done over here in this thread let me explain you is basically he has disabled the ryzen turbo boost which i showed you which i told you in my previous video that it'll work on this laptop also and in fact it worked wonders it dropped the temperatures from 118 degrees centigrade in some cpu stress test down to 77 degrees centigrade in some of his game and uh, with the stable temperatures of around 85 degrees centigrade so how what he did let me explain you in this video so disabling turbo boost is very simple process just go into the register editor and then go to the particular folder named hkey local machine and then go into system then go into current control set then go into control then inside control you will have power and inside of power you will have power settings and inside the power settings search for this folder named 545332 it will start with 545332 then inside that you will find another folder starting with BE3372 so find these two and then select this folder BE3372 and go into the attributes section and then you modify the value of attributes from 1 to 2 select it and then go into the edit power plan option on your windows and inside that you will find a new option that is arrived that is the that is the processor power management and inside that you will have processor performance boost mode this is what we want okay now inside this processor performance boost mode you will have two options that is on battery and on and when plugged in so on battery you will obviously disable it 
and you can also disable this when on power but uh, don't disable it guys because this guy has mentioned that when he disables that in uh, during plugged in also the performance drops so he is playing a game called monster hunter world which is a uh, both gpu and cpu heavy intensive game so in that case his frame rates drops to 45 fps and obviously his temperatures are very down but that that is not what we want we don't want our frame rates to drop all we want is the temperatures to drop so instead of selecting disabled for the plugged in state you select efficient aggressive so he said that with the setting of efficient aggressive he's getting 67 to 80 fps in this game and the highest temperatures that he has recorded is only 88.7 degrees centigrade which is much better than the earlier 106 degrees centigrade which he used to get so that's a big 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 improvement and the other big thing that is coming from dell is they have issued a very important bios update which is the version 1.3.0 update and uh, even though it has this has not fixed the laptop entirely but with the help of this bios and this workaround which i showed you right now he is getting temperatures which is around 85 degrees centigrade and the cpu is drawing only 65 watt of power so the cpu went down from 80 to 100 degree 100 watts of power down to 65 watts of power which has also also brought down the temperatures so that's a pretty good improvement so it shows that dell is now currently working on the updates which is not something that we should appreciate because dell should have just given us the final product final drivers in the product that they are selling right now it seems like the product which they are selling they don't have the final driver which is not a good practice by dell and also one thing he has recommended is do not enable turbo mode when you are using the bios 1.3.0 so without turbo mode he has said that he is getting good uh, results and he's recommended not to use turbo mode right now and if you press fn plus f7 you will uh, enable you will enable the maximum fan mode which also drops the temperature so overall these are some of the findings which i found reading this entire thread which is enormous now guys after all these uh, settings and testings this guy has not reported any game crash in this uh, thread right now but different users are complaining about game crashes and stuff like this which shows that dell has not used the most stable drivers when it comes to the units which are being sold online right now which is a very bad practice by dell and uh, it seems like the fixes has started to come but it will take some time for this laptop to get stable completely this laptop does have extremely good price to performance ratio even this guy has said so but it seems like you know the driver issues uh, dell has not put the final drivers inside the units that are being sold so that's not a good thing guys uh, guys my job is to give you the most like uh, value for money products help you in making purchasing decisions with the most value for money products that is possible to get but this laptop will take some time to get stabilized so i'll drop a link down to this reddit article so if you want to check it out you can check it out so yeah that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching and like subscribe that's it i'll see you in the next one peace